Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we're going to talk about that Living Saint Patrol Detachment bundle that appeared in the pre-orders over the weekend. So, <laughs> it's re this is a weird one, okay? This is really weird. I, I don't know quite what's going on, but I, I held off making a video about it when I first saw it. So, I was browsing the New Zealand website because the, uh, the pre-orders go up there first due to time zone differences and all of that malarkey. And there was stuff in there that I was expecting. You know, the Adeptus Custode stuff, the various different codex sort of versions that you could get, um, including the super expensive one, which I was very good and resisted for now. Um, <laughs> and there was also Gilliman and Cypher and Celestine and a Gemini Superior and Inquisitor Greyfax with the other one. And I think a paint bundle as well. All stuff that we were expecting. And then there was this. <laughs> now... <laughs> This is the Living Saint Patrol Detachment, and a mild tangent. I've said before New Zealand has it rough when it comes to prices and Games Workshop, but um, how do I put this politely? Holy shit, this is 993 New Zealand dollars. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot of money. And I was like, okay, so exchange rate not great on New Zealand dollars? Let's have a quick look. £520. It's not £520 in the UK, £302.50. That's bad. That's real bad. That's so bad. I cannot believe the markup on that compared to the exchange rate. It is crazy. So, I mean, my wallet weeps and bleeds for you, uh, 40k New Zealanders. You guys have got the shit end of the stick and no mistake. Good lord. Anyway. So, this Living Saber Patrol Detachment, when I first saw this, my immediate reaction was, what What the fuck is this? What? Oh my god, is this some sort of surprise release? A nice treat? A sudden, a sudden thing from Games Workshop where they're just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, bitch, Sisters of Battle are back. You didn't know. We were keeping it secret. It's part of a, like, I don't know, super secret mega release where we read you the line. And then I clicked on it. And then I noticed, no, it is not that. It is not that in the slightest. In fact, you've already noted from the image on the screen, provided I remember to edit it in, that uh, it's just all of the old shit, well, not all of it, most of the old shit, combined with the two new things that Sisters of Battle have got in the form of Canon S. Viridian and Saint Celestine and her Gemini Superior. Who, by the way, uh, when you take Sisters of Battle in isolation, uh, not the Seraphim, because they do look kind of bad now, um, but the, the standard Battle Sisters, and you look at them in isolation, you can you can have an appreciation for them. You can say, actually, they've aged pretty well. They look pretty good. For how old they are, they've held up. Not so much when you compare them directly to Celestine and, uh, and Viridian. They do not hold up when you compare them to those two. In fact, they look janky and dated as hell, which makes it extra unfortunate that they are now in a bundle together. So, I held off. I didn't make a video because I thought to myself, all I'm going to do is complain about this and say, what is the point? What is the purpose? Why have they done this? This is stupid. I should wait. I should wait and I should see if someone notices something I haven't. Maybe a rumour will break. Maybe someone will say, ah, I know what this is all about. I can tell you what this is. You'll be amazed. Maybe Games Workshop themselves will go, it's all, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan for the re-release of the Sisters of Battle with a new line. And of course none of that happened. Of course none of it happened, because on the surface of it, it just seems to be some sort of random thing that they decided to do. But, holding off on making a video has proved to be a good idea, because there are now multiple theories that people have been talking about, that people have been sharing, that we can address directly, and we can make a judgement call as to whether we think that these theories are correct or incorrect. And that is exactly what we're going to do when it comes to talking about this Living Saint Patrol detachment. We're going to look at some of the more popular ideas that people have had, some of the opinions that I've seen repeated most. And, well, we're going to see if there's anything to them or whether we think that there's nothing to them. So, first things first, what do you actually get in the Living Saint Patrol detachment? Well, I'll tell you. You get two squads of Battle Sisters, you get an Immolator, you get a Sister Battle Command squad, you get a Seraphim squad, a Dominion squad, you get Je the uh, Saint Celestine and the Gemini Superior, 
uh, Je- Je- I got confused because I wanted to say Saint Gemini, but that's not a real thing. And you get Canon S Viridian. I think that's it. Yeah, that looks to be it. And uh, you'll be interested to know that what you get in terms of uh, a discount for this bundle, this bundle costing as it does £302.50, the discount that you get for purchasing all of these things together is 0%. Seriously, it's zero percent. Um, it's just it seems to be exactly what all of these things cost individually. In fact, I'll just do a quick tally up now. Um, I think I know most of the price of these off the top of my head anyway. So, uh, yeah, so we've got two sisters of Battle Squad. So those are two Battle Sisters. Sorry, ten models each. They're fifty quid each because uh, I don't know why they're fifty quid each. Um, Seraphim Squad 65 squid Im- squid 65 quid Immolator is 25 quid I want to say Pretty sure Dominion Squad is 32.50 And I think the Command Squad is 32.50 as well Celestine is either 32.50 or 37.50 One of the two And Viridian I believe is 15 pounds Which I mean some very rough adding up in my head is about 300 quid. Okay, yeah, so a brief typing into uh, into Windows Calculator reveals that the contents of this bundle, which costs £302.50, individually would come to £302.50. So we know what we're dealing with. No discount. Nothing like it. This is not a start collecting type deal where you actually get some money off. No, you're paying full price for every single one of these models. Now, now that we know what it's worth, worth now we know what it costs not what it's worth um and what is in it let's talk about some of the most sort of oft repeated opinions or thoughts as to what this is and why it exists okay and we'll i guess we'll judge them and see whether they hold any merit or not one of the things i've seen most often i have to admit is the idea that this is some sort of stock clearance and there's an extension to this that we'll address after we've addressed the first one so A stock clearance. Games Workshop has got heaps of old Metal Sisters lying around. Probably because people aren't buying them because they're old Metal Models. And let's be honest, Metal Models can be uh, at best fiddly and at worst a royal pain in the arse that no one ever wants to deal with ever again. I'm still haunted by the nightmares of assembling my Metal Demon prints way back in the day where none of the pieces actually fit together properly and it required a significant amount of green stuff and super glue to make it actually stay together for more than a day at a time. No one wants the models anymore. There is a severely diminished market for Sisters of Battle when almost every single other kit in the Warhammer 40,000 range as a whole is newer, is fresher, is better sculpted, it's manufactured in plastic which makes it easier to work with. So they would have a lot of this stuff lying around, presumably. And this is an attempt to get rid of it. It's an attempt to shift it. What they're doing is they're putting everything together with a uh, a small selection of the only four new models that the Sisters of Battle have had in recent years in an attempt to make people buy it and make the, the shelves clear of all of this metal garbage. Now, that is actually not a bad theory. It's not a bad... I don't think it's a particularly stupid theory, but I don't think it's the right theory. And the reason for that is that there is currently no incentive incentive to buy this shit. Yes, bundling everything together in an attempt to shift it could possibly work depending on how the bundle is done. A £300 bundle that would cost you £300 to buy everything individually anyway, that's not an incentive. There is no reason to buy this. There is no codex for Sisters of Battle. There have been no announcements in terms of new additions to the range. There has been no marketing for this. It is literally just a bunch of stuff that you could easily buy before, put together in one expensive package. Where's where's the incentive to buy? Where is the encouragement to buy? Where is the deal? What are you actually getting for your money? Well, in terms of just what you're getting for your money you're getting 300 quid's worth of models that would otherwise cost 300 quid. They're not new, they're not fresh, they're not marketed in any way, and they don't have any new rules to go along with them. If they're attempting to clear stock, if this is a way of shifting a backlog of Sisters of Battle that are taking up space in a warehouse somewhere, then it is the shittest attempt to do that that I think I've ever seen in regards to anything. If you want to shift stock, if you want to 
do some sort of clearance if you want to get rid of every last model you do not sell them in a massive package for 300 quid you drop the price dramatically and then you just sell until they're gone i mean as it stands all they're doing is taking up space anyway so if they want to be shot of them why just continue charging full price and why make that bundle so expensive 300 pounds is a lot of money it can buy you a lot of army from other factions the fact of the matter is for fact of the matter is that this stuff is overpriced as hell as it is anyway even compared to the rest of 40k which arguably is kind of overpriced there's no reason to buy this you have to be the most hardcore of sisters players especially since everything in this thing is available separately celestine is now available separately viridian has been available for ages where's the incentive to buy there isn't any what are the chances of loads of people rushing out and buying this thing uh low to non-existent so how would that help clear stock it wouldn't <laughs> is the answer to that now as an extension to that there is the theory that this stuff is being sold off to clear space in order to make room for a new range of sis of battle models i could kind of see that but again only if there was some sort of incentive to buy this thing there isn't and we haven't seen anything in the way of rumors we haven't seen anything in the way of hints or teases we've not heard any sort of insider information that seems to suggest that we're going to be getting a new sisters of battle codex anytime soon i mean to be honest there's nothing to suggest that we're even going to see anything for them this year let alone kind of soon enough that they would want to shift a load of stock right this minute and get rid of it if anything, on the contrary, this feels like trying to sell old models off the back of selling a new model. By packaging Celestine in with this stuff, I'm kind of leaning towards it just being a thing of, well, we've got this character who no one fields with their own armies, we should make it so that you can buy her with her own army. That's far more likely than a plastic Sisters of Battle range just appearing out of nowhere. And it's far more likely than trying to shift stock by selling 300 quid worth of stuff for 300 quid. The other theory for this is that this is an attempt to gauge interest. This is an attempt for Games Workshop to actually find out just how badly people want Sisters of Battle. They're sitting there and they think to themselves, well, we constantly get people talking about Sisters of Battle. People keep asking for it. Every time we say, what do you want to see? They say, plastic Sisters of Battle. Every time we look at any website that talks about our stuff, people talk about doing Sisters of Battle people want it but the question is how much and how do we know that they're going to buy it well you could do that by selling a an exist like an, an entire sisters of battle army in one package but that is the worst way to gauge interest in a new product that they could possibly do especially this product you see the complaints from people aren't just that sisters of battle haven't got anything in the way of a, a codex yet it's not that they are in some way you know n unplayable on the tabletop it's that all their models are old as fuck and really expensive that is the complaint from the vast majority of people not that sisters of battle don't have rules because they've got rules but the sisters of battle are prohibitively expensive as an army to buy they are almost impossible to customize due to the the, the metal nature of their construction Compared to every other faction, they have been left well behind in terms of overall quality of model and ease of assembly. They're an old line. They're a really old line. You do not gauge interest in a new line by offering the players something that they've had access to for ages, but have repeatedly stated they want a new version of. You're not going to gauge interest in a new Sisters of Battle line by offering the existing line to players but in a 300 pound package that's not going to work because the people who want sisters of battle are not going to look at that and go well it's not a new line it's not plastic it's not new sculpts but it is all the stuff that i've had access to for the last 10 years in one convenient expensive package it's not no one's going to register their interest that way no one is going to look at that and go, you know what, I was on the fence. I was on the fence about paying 50 quid for 10 Metal Sisters of Battle, but now that they're available in a package of 300 quid, yeah, 
This is exactly the push I need to start my Scissors of Battle army. Consider me interested, Games Workshop. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, they're not shifting stock. If they're trying to shift stock, they're not going to do a very good job of it. If they're not shifting stock, it's unlikely to be some sort of method to clear up space for a new line of Sisters of Battle because they could quite easily, frankly, just chuck them away and it would make very little difference to them at this point. And if they were going to introduce a new line of Sisters of Battle, I doubt they would attempt to sell off all the existing stuff before that happened. It just doesn't seem to make much sense. Finally, gauging interest. How are you going to gauge interest by selling people the thing that they've been complaining about? How are you going to gauge interest by getting people to buy the models that they've already said they don't want to buy because they want new ones? How are you going to gain? How are you going to gauge interest by charging people full price on old stuff but in one bundle? No one's going to be interested in that. And it's not because they're not interested in Sisters of Battle, it's because they're not interested in these particular models of Sisters of Battle. So, if it's not to clear stock, if it's not to make room for a new line, and it is not to gauge interest, what is it for? Honestly, I'm leaning towards it's essentially for people to see that there is an army that goes along with Saint Celestine. I'm thinking that the over you know, the kind of overwhelming drive behind this mental like something caught out of time bundle is that Celestine is a very popular model and there is a hope that they will be able to capitalize on that popularity by putting her in a bundle with a ready-made army so to speak. That's the only thing that makes sense because none of the others seem to really apply to this. None of the others make sense in the context of what this offers, which, frankly, is very little for a lot of cash. If it is any of the other three, that's kind of worrying, because Games Workshop are doing a pretty good job at the moment, and I would consider that a severe misjudgment on their part. Time will tell. I mean, either we'll see this stuff be massively popular, which is incredibly unlikely, and suddenly a new Sisters of Battle range will come out, or we'll see a post from Games Workshop saying, well, we tried to see whether people were interested, and so many people bought this box that, yes, the Sisters of Battle are coming back. But that seems incredibly unlikely. I think what we've actually got is just, frankly, a box for the sake of a box. We've got a bundle for the sake of St. Celestine having a bundle, and that's about it. Which I realise is going to be very disappointing, and admittedly it's disappointing for me because I was kind of hoping there'd be something to this, but looking at it, thinking about it, looking at what other people have said, what other people have have shared in terms of opinion and theory, I just don't see it being anything else. Because if it is anything else, it's been executed incredibly clumsily, and in a way that has left people not excited, but just kind of confused. And if you want people to be just kind of confused about your products, then... I mean, you can try it, but it's not usually advisable, is it? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I'd be interested in what you think as to whether there's anything to this or whether it's just a bundle for the sheer hell of it. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to click any of the stuff all over the screen. There's a Patreon, subscribe, videos, all of that garbage. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to. And I'll see you for the next video. Toodaloo.